everyone, this is Hugo, aka Unforeseeable 2.0, and welcome to another episode of Science Time. Today we'll be talking about magnetism. You probably already know it. So Subscribe! Thank you, Gus Master 7 Subscribe! Okay then. But did you have to notice that cereal has iron in them? Would you like to help out? Okay, then. Anyway, we're going to prove it to you in this experiment. So, we're going to take this cup of cereal and place it in this oven. Now, we're going to go pour it in some of this water. But not all the way in so it doesn't get all chunky. Now, now we're going to blend it. And this, and this is pretty much perfect, because then the iron can fall right to the bottom. Now, we're going to go wait for the iron to fall right into the bottom of the mixture. Oops. <laughs> Iron is in here. See, iron is just one of the three things that can be stick to a magnet. There's also nickel and cobalt. I'm pretty sure that this is nickel. You probably know that light repels and opposites attract. Well, it's true. These are opposites and these are likes. So, but how do they work it? Well, there are these things called domains. And in a domain, they line up. Once, once you make, once you stick them with a magnet, they're scattered in all these little areas, like this. But once magnets place, they line up like this. In fact, the whole world is a magnet. The center is filled with iron and nickel. And they direct it right, right to the poles. That's why we got a north pole and a south pole. And in each of these poles, and these poles, these poles create a magnetic field that land to one another. And that's what makes a compass work. Anyway, let's check on to see how we're doing. So this thing, don't worry. This thing will be hitting. 
don't worry. So, the iron will be heading down right here, and we can see it with the magnet. This may take a while, but don't worry, it'll be all with it. So once it does, then we'll do it. Until then, I'm Hugo, well, aka Unforeseeable 2.0. And thanks for watching during this last time video. Bushy. Now we'll wait for it. But don't leave yet. See? Over right here, this is where the iron is supposed to go. Do you have to have a magnet to it to pull it? And we'll need a magnet to prove it. There's iron in this bag, all right. Iron inside that mush. You can see some of the iron, iron right inside here. Maybe if you're looking closely. Like right over here, there's a speck of it. If you can't see it, that's okay. There's a lot of iron in here, but until then, stick around. Oh, it's fun.